real fast, Lenny. That's not, not a way to get ahead in life, Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, quit monkeying around. Woo! Time's the harm! You're a jerk, Fez. Honestly. Hello, everybody. Welcome again to the voiceover show. I'm Lenny. I'm Xavier. Um, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a little tired. As you all just saw, I had a really rough night last night. So yeah, it was terrifying, man. Yeah. I, I don't know how you did it. I don't know how I did it either. <laughs> anyway, I'm tired. Let's get right to this. I'm pretty sure you all know who we have in store for you. So, without further ado, from Surviving Nights at Freddy's sister location, the one and only Kellen Goff. Hey, Kelly! <laughs> Oh yeah, how's it going? What's up, man? Yes, how you doing, my man? skin. Okay, Hello. all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> Kellen, how you doing? I'm all right. This is a little different for me, the whole heat thing, because, you know, I'm from LA, where there's none <laughs> right now. Are you a drought? Yeah, oh, well, the drought is actually better now because we got like a huge freaking rainstorm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, like the biggest in 10 years, apparently. Huh. Like there was even a Facebook thing like, check if your Cali people are okay. And I'm like, I'm checking in. Damn, I didn't know <laughs> it was that bad. <laughs> but yeah, we, we're very wet right now. Was there a water <laughs> shortage? Is that like a thing? Yeah, there, there was a huge water shortage. It was like a... Uh, red and orange and yellow like levels of um, drought and like we were smack dab in the center of it wow. the LA thing wow. like the northern they're they're fine because mm. they get more rain than us because you know they're closer to Seattle which I want to go one day so <laughs> might we ro roll right into it let's do it how'd you get into voice acting Wow <laughs> that's a big one um well, back when I was, my dad will tell you that I got into it 
when I was three, when I started copying cartoon characters, just how they talked and stuff. But um, on a, I, I guess that's where it started. And on, I, I started doing animation, like flash animation for cartoons and stuff oh, cool. when I was 13, 12. Um, that's old Flash. That's old Flash. That's <laughs> Macromedia Flash. Newgrounds um, Flash. Newgrounds Flash. Goodness gracious. <laughs> but um, I actually had my own website. I didn't bother with Newgrounds because I was afraid. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, it called? On Newgrounds, there are a lot of like uh, people who are trolls to be trolls. Oh, okay. I mean, not anymore. That it, makes it's sense. better now. But I and I, oh, honestly, yeah, I, so I much look, better now. I look back on Newgrounds with fondness. Actually, a lot of my friends are from Newgrounds. But um, white voice acting, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the from there, I I sort of like the voice part of it more, if I can say that. And for and I I like in my friends. Uh, in my friends' projects, they would ask me to do stuff like Brawl Machinima and stuff. Oh, Remember cool! Remember those days? Yeah, I love those. The Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Oh, you yeah, could, absolutely. You could move the characters around and make them like puppets. Yeah. It was like really, really, at the time, it was really uh, innovative. But um, it, they did it with Halo 3, too. Yeah. But from there... I was like, hey, I don't, I, I'm, I don't have the patience to create, really. I don't have the patience to draw frame by frame by frame, even to do tweens. So um, I started uh, doing what, you know, everybody told me I was, I had potential at. So, like, are there any really big voice actors you look up to? I mean, oh, definitely. Um, well, I look up to D. Bradley Baker a lot. He voiced uh, Appa and Momo on. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. So, all the aliens in Ben 10. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. He, he is incredible. If you've ever heard a... Uh, I, I look up to Frank Welker, too, but if you've oh, ever Frank heard... Oh, Frank Welker is a legend. Frank Welker is God. Um, <laughs> he, he's the godfather of uh, the... All hail world. Lord Frank. All hail the Welker. Um, <laughs> Welkerism, we call it. But, um, but, uh, That's your local church. <laughs> Ask your local church. Um, but <laughs> if you've ever heard a uh, an animal in any animated film, it's either the uh, Frank Welker or the real thing. That that's yeah. he does animal sound effects, and I that's what I didn't want. he like do the roars and liking by like roaring into a trash can. Mm -hmm. He it, I Crazy. use that trick a lot too. You have you put a tin trash can by the side of your face, and you go. <laughs> And it, it Dude, sounds that sounds echoey. good even without yeah, that. that terrifying. It sounds echoey with the yeah, trash can. Wow. Um, but uh, as for who I've trained with, I've trained with at 16. I trained with Bob Bergen, and he's the one who taught me to do animal noises in the first place. I guess Bob does a lot of in Emperor's New Groove. He was uh, the little chipmunk thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, oh but, God, but he taught me how to bark like a dog. And that would <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, cur I'm curious. Listen, you dirty old man. <laughs> We're not to that part of the show yet. <laughs> I'm curious. What well, this dog bark sound like? Your your bark curious? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. That's wow. so legit. I couldn't do it at all at first, but it's been what am I? Twenty two. It's been six years. That's wow. Wild. So, yeah, That's now I can legit, now man. I go up to my grandma's house and make all the neighborhood <laughs> bark. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, but um other than uh Richard Horvitz was my first real acting teacher because he's all about the acting. You, voice acting, if you think you can just get into it by doing funny voices, you are sorely mistaken. It is the acting first and foremost because voice acting is Acting is hard enough on its own, but voice acting, you have to do it without facial expressions, without a partner most of the time, yeah. with, without feedback most of the time. You, they, you just have to nail it on the first take sometimes. And when, when, like, how do they do it? They show you something and they're like, or they, they describe it to you verbally? Well, it depends on the type of voice acting. If it's like, um, if it's like straight up animation, your voice comes first, then you'll I mean, generally, you audition for it yeah. first, and that's where it comes from. Sometimes they'll give you a picture of the character, yeah. but most of the time they'll give you a description 
of who it is and maybe a reference to a pop culture icon that you can yeah, work off of. And yeah, then they right. give you audition lines. And if you get it, if you're blessed enough to get it in the damn town of Hollywood, <laughs> then, um, <laughs> then you go on and pretty much do what you did. And it's funny in a studio, with, on a set, it's much better because you can see you can yeah, see you facial expressions you have really so well. So much more to go off. Exactly. Of, right? You you can see facial expressions of directors really well, and they'll tell, and you can like see if they're displeased or not. But in a studio, they can take their finger off the button, <laughs> and and they they can scream in the background, and you don't know if it's because of you or because they're mad that their sandwich order got screwed. <laughs> most, most of the time, it's the latter with most of the animation producers awesome. I know, but um. But yeah, that's generally how it works for Prelay, which is m mostly what I do. Anime is a whole different beast, yeah. so I won't even get into that. Um, but as for the rest of the teachers, so many good ones. Um, Charlie Adler is incredible. He's, he curses like a sailor, and he's <laughs> the reason I might, we might have to add a beep into one of these. <laughs> um, he, and then uh, David Sobolov, who's like a second father to me. I love the man. And um, just just a lot of different people, too many to list. But um, it, awesome. it it it's when you're in the when you want to do voiceover, you gotta learn how to do voiceover. Nobody just gets into it straight up. Everybody has to learn. So something. with all that training you did, how'd you come up with the voice for Funtime Freddy? Oh, funny. <laughs> I knew this one was coming. Yeah. Because, because of the, it'll cycle back to it in a second. <laughs> you put Five Nights at Freddy's bigger than my name. <laughs> um, anyway, um, that's a funny story. Do you want to hear this anecdote? Yes, I would very uh, much like to. The, when the audition came through, the, when uh, I got the email about it, I had had maybe three, two hours of sleep. But my phone buzzed off because it has this filter to tell me if it's important or not. Mm -hmm. um, and usually most auditions are marked important. So I look at it and I went, and, and, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And then I get out, I, I get out of bed, more bags than, um, I don't know, carry on. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and, uh, I walk over to my microphone that's like a couple steps away and I see the character description. The character description, I didn't even know it was Freddy. It was costumed entertainer. That's what, he, Scott is a very, Scott Cawthon, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's is a very, very secretive guy. So, oh yeah, as a fan of the games, he is infuriatingly secretive. <laughs> Tell us what's going on in the games. <laughs> but it Sorry, wouldn't be continue. special that way. <laughs> it wouldn't be so special when you played it for the first time. Freddy screamed in your face. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Anyway. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I forget where I was. Um, the very vague... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it said costumed entertainer. There were, there were code names for every single part. And I didn't know who I was auditioning for, but I saw Scott Coth, and I'm like, must be important. Um, so, I, the character said, um, mascot, very friendly, but parents wouldn't feel safe about ha <laughs> ha parents wouldn't feel right about having it around their children. Xavier, you're a parent, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> no, I, that, that makes you're feeling no. sense. You're feeling no. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> no way, like. Um, but, uh, so I just thought of Chuck E. Cheese, because I was scared of that oh, yeah. as a kid. Not, ch not Chuck E. specifically, more like, more like a really exaggerated version of uh, the Rock of Fire explosion, which yeah. was a big thing back in the 70s. Um, but it was an anima animatronic band all the same. And uh, I just honestly went up and screamed at the mic the stuff in the way that I felt like they were talking to me as a kid. And uh, I, I, I was like, so here's how it went. I went up to the mic and I was like, huh, and, and I screamed and then I backed away. I was like, okay, they're gonna like that. <laughs> and then I fell asleep on the floor. And then, <laughs> and then five hours later, I looked at my, uh, well, I sent it in obviously, but I looked at my email and it's like, oh, Got a little uh, passed out again, <laughs> but um, 
that was the beginning of something I couldn't even imagine. The yeah. beginning of terror. Oh my goodness, absolutely. I mean, has your life changed from this role? I mean, do, has anybody uh, recognized you on the street yet? On the street? There was this one time. <laughs> oh boy, it's see, always one time. W when I'm on Twitter, I, w well, on Twitter, my sort of, I'm always with my green sweatshirt. It, it's like green and then yeah. white and then black. You I thought it. I was gonna see it today. I, it's in my bag, Good. but At least we're around. in Florida. Yeah, no, it's in we're in Florida yeah. with no air conditioning. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm from LA, but I'm not a savage. No, um, <laughs> not to say that you're it, j I'm just that. I savage. wouldn't. I no. I yes, you're Randy Savage. No, I would. I wouldn't. Uh, you're Randy and Savage. That's that's a British adjective. <laughs> I know. I'm um, Randy. No, but um, I wouldn't wear it in this heat of course. ever. Um, but uh, on, on there, I wear that all the time. And there was one time I was wearing it at this place called Frankensons, which is pretty much a convention, but always in one place and always open on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's a dealer room full of different, you know, odds and ends well, and oddities neat. and stuff. Like, like, that you could find in a dealer hall. And um, I was walking away from the Transformers booth because I adore Transformers to death. To death. And uh, I heard ah, for like across, <laughs> across like 48 acres or whatever. And um, I looked back, I didn't see anything. It was like a field of dreams moment. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know where it came from. I didn't want to know. It was just magical. Um, I've been recognized at conventions a couple of times, but never on the street though. Because there's not really a face to Freddy other than his own. The, like, like a very select few know what the Fred, yeah. what Freddy's voice actor actually, fun time Freddy's voice actor actually looks like, which is this ugly mug right here. Get a close up. I feel like this is gonna, this is gonna boost it when people start watching this and people start looking at this. It's gonna boost it because yeah. now you're you're full this, person. You're full this is gonna this is gonna no, be the mug shot that they have on every. That. When I go missing eventually, they're gonna paste <laughs> this frame right here on a wanted sign. <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna happen. I hope so. The missing part. I'll make sure of it. Okay. <laughs> so at the Am I going to be on the milk carton? Sorry, <laughs> guys. So at the time of this episode, it's not out yet, but like, what's it like seeing merchandise of the character you play? God. I, that, that was the dream ever since I started voice acting. I wanted to have a toy of something yeah. that I did. The next step up, wait, wait, okay. I'll talk about what's happening right now. It's, I was about to say it's, it's f it anyway. It's f***ing amazing. Um, <laughs> what happened? Not again. Pat, Kellen, Fez, Xavier, where are you guys? What's up, dude? Ah! Yeah, yeah, I'm here too, man. Have you noticed everything is so weird since we invited Kellen on the show? Like you wouldn't believe. Oh man, I think we're, I think we're gonna have to break this thing up into two parts. Uh, we'll uh, we'll be back soon. <laughs> Ho hopefully.